London, get, 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 add, add something away to John. So we got a special guest at the Fight Guys. But, uh, special guys, Hank London versus John but, uh, here in the ring. <laughs> um, you talked about the 2017 schedule. A lot has been said about the 2016 schedule of PBC and the inactivity. Uh, talk about how the inact is it inactivity and does it have adverse, of, adverse effects on how you're able to support your two daughters and your wife and raise a family? PBC changed my life. Al Haven changed my life. I can't talk bad about it, man. It's, like, everything that everyone's saying is all speculation. There's no concrete behind it. There's, oh, there's numbers and there's this and there's lawsuits and come on, man. That's, and the guys that are saying that, really, they, they have uh, different agendas. You know, they're, they're fueled by some other, you know, opposite of what PBC is. Mm -hmm. So how much, you can't really, it doesn't really hold water. Um, you know, I think PBC is going to be here to stay. I think they're going to do well. You know, I, I'm part of it, and I'm, and I'm, I'm a happy part of it. You were the first part of it. Yeah, first part of it. <laughs> and uh, look at uh, I, I, I'm doing just fine. I'm doing just fine. And again, everything that you're hearing negative is speculation. We shouldn't be negative about this. It's not like uh, if you love boxing, you should love boxing, regardless of his PBC, Al Heyman, top rank, golden boy. Let's all come together. Let's box. Let's fight. That's what we're here to do. So with that being said, no, I, I don't think it had any negative um, you know, lasting impression on boxing. I think it's benefited boxing. I think it's, they've put on a lot of fights. Now that we're at a stagnant point because it's the end of the year, yeah, we're not going to go against, uh, you know, college playoffs, football. college football playoffs, NFL. Of course, that's a stupid business move. Who's going to do that? So at the end of the day, it is a business. 2017 is going to be amazing, and we'll see where everyone's at at the end of 2017 and what they have to say about it. One of the reports that came out was that Al Heyman notified his fighters and PBC brand fighters to go out and make their own fights for the end of 2016. You personally, did you ever receive a phone call like that or a message like that? <laughs> that's all speculation, man. It, again, that's all, that's all I hear say. That's people lighting, lighting, setting rumors, man. Right. That's all it is, man. It, to me, it's like all the people that are haters are on the outside looking in, and that's why they're haters, really. And again, I'm not, I'm not knocking one or the other. You know, at the end of the day, it's a fight game. But, again, it's all speculation. There's no concrete. No one knows. They're all making speculations and guesses. And No, no, that's not accurate. From my perspective, I can't speak for other fighters, but from my perspective or from my, my own, you know, self and my career, that's not accurate. Are there any um, fights of people of taking, obviously taking yourself out of it? Obviously, you, you said some of the names you'd like to, uh, to be matched up with. But are there any fights in the PB set? PBC family that you would like to see come together hopefully in the next year? There's a lot of fights that are going to come together. They're going to happen. A lot, of, a lot of good fights. I mean, Thurman, Porter, um, you know, Berto. There's a lot of intriguing matchups there. Danny Garcia. Um, there's a lot of guys. Earl Spence. So, yeah, anyway, you slide, we're going to get the fights. They're going to happen. It's inevitable. It's going to happen. You know, it's just fans are like, they're impatient, they want it now, they want it now, but it's going to happen. I think 2017 is going to be huge. It's going to be a big year for, for, for boxing. That's another question I want to ask you. Um, bringing that you brought up Spence again and, and you were talking about, did you want a strap? Say if you were offered a, a title shot, say if you had like two, ta two fights on the table and one was, say, against a guy like Spence or, or like kind of a name like that, a prospect type name that maybe paid more or you could get a title shot that maybe pays less. Like, where... Where would you lean on that? Uh, that's, a, that's a good question, actually. <laughs> it's a really good question because it, it, it all depends, man. I mean, you got to look at the figures. I mean, what are you talking, you know? You're talking seven figures, you're talking six figures. It all depends on what you're talking. And, of course, I want that strap. But at the end of the day, it's a business. I think Paulie Malinaji said it best a long time ago when he was having beef with Keith Thurman. He said it's called prize fighting. We fight for a prize. That's how we feed our families. Above all, I could all my wants in the world can go away because I want to feed my family. Yes. You know, and, and boxing has bought my houses, taken care of my family. I can never disrespect or spit in the face of boxing because of that. So 
I think at the end of the day, I got to be a smart businessman as well. Um, he mentioned future fights. I was one of the experts that didn't pick you against Provotnikov. Uh-oh. <laughs> <laughs> Uh-oh. <laughs> Should I hit him now? Or? <laughs> so I'm, I'm one and one against you. I, yeah. I, you know, and uh, so what I would ask, ask of you is 2017, hindsight says Danny Garcia ran from you. This is just my speculation. You have to get a fight. You have to get a belt. Where does John Molina fans expect you to go in 2017? Because it appears that 2016 is probably done. Uh, intriguing fight. That's it. Anything. I'm going for the most intriguing fight, mm -hmm. for the most exciting fight, mm -hmm. as I, I've always done. Mm -hmm. You know, the only goose egg, or if you will, and, I'll, and I'm mad enough to talk about it, is the Broner fight. I think it's a BS fight. I don't blame the fans for being disappointed. I'm not mad at them for talking crap about it. I'm disappointed in myself.